Hi all, in this video, I will show you IC validator output files to check after LVS run. After successful completion of LVS run, the IC validator tool creates many output files and I will discuss few important ones. The errors file topcellname.layout underscore errors reports summary of LVS device formation errors, text space errors, and soft check errors with the corresponding violation count. This file also points to the structure and its respective coordinates where the violations occurred. The LVS debugging file topcellname.lvs underscore errors lists netlist comparison errors. This file indicates if the layout where schematic comparison was successful or not. It reports LVS compare statistics like number of successful equivalencies, number of failed equivalencies, and priority is determined for each and every equivalence point. The top cell name.lvs underscore errors file then lists the important failed equivalence points sorted in high to low priorities. The error summary section shows number of matched and unmatched nets and devices in layout and schematic. The post compare summary section for my scenario shows that there are total number of 208 matched instances or devices, 113 matched nets, 2 unmatched schematic nets and 1 unmatched layout net. The diagnostic summary points out the possible causes for mismatches between layout and schematic netlist. In my case, it is due to one shorted net in the layout. Here, it highlights the nets that participate in the shot and the number of instance connections on shorted net. It further reports the matched instances connected to shorted net and the instance pin connections for all matched instances connected to each net. At the end, it lists the options used for this particular LVS run. Star indicates that this option is not using IC validator default, but user defined value via run set modification or by environment variable. Now let's see the files generated under run underscore details directory. An account file topcellname.acct lists the number of devices and their types extracted from each cell in the hierarchy. The cumulative count shown is the total number of all devices contained in the structure. The bounding box file topcellname.bbox lists the total count of cells and the bounding box coordinates of each cell in the design. An equivalence file equiv.run lists all the equivalent cells that were used during the run. Please note that if you run only extraction, then this file is not generated. The log file topcellname underscore lvs.log contains runtime messages for each equivalence point and system or user equivalence points that were used during LVS run. The device leveling summary file topcellname.dls shows devices that are not extracted in the same cell it ideally should be present. These devices should be extracted in NOR3 cell. Instead, they are pulled up in hierarchy into the parent cell cs underscore add. This file also gives you a way to track these level devices and the layer that causing it. Two tree files, lay.tree and sch.tree, are generated under LVS flow directory. The lay.tree file provides the hierarchical structure of layout netlist, whereas the sch.tree file provides the hierarchical structure of the schematic netlist. IC validator generates detailed information for each equivalent cells under compare directory. If you check equivalent cell directory, you will find equivalent summary file sum.equ.eq, partition schematic netlist file sch.eq, and partition layout netlist file lay.eq. The results of comparison stage of each structure 
are written to a summary file named sum.eq.eq. This file includes summary of compared discrepancies and diagnostic information. The statistics report shows separate sections for schematic and layout netlist after filtering and merging. It shows initial and final netlist instance and net counts before and after merging or filtering. If the final instance, device and net counts doesn't match between schematic and layout, it causes mismatch errors. The partition schematic netlist file sch.eq is the post-process schematic netlist that results after any netlist modification for analyzing comparison results. In the same way, the partition layout netlist file lay.eq is the post-process layout netlist that results after any netlist modification. So, these are the important output files to check after LVS run. Thank you.